Hi friends, I am Mitra and welcome back to my channel. We will continue with the anatomy of larynx and today we will see muscles of larynx. First we will see extrinsic muscles of larynx. Before going to this, we have to we have to do something. We need to discuss two groups of muscles: suprahyoid muscles and infrahyoid muscles. There are four suprahyoid muscles. I don't know if you can remember them by this mnemonic, but the mnemonic is D, S, M, and G. The muscles are digastric, stylohyoid. Mylohyoid and Geniohyoid. The infrahyoid muscles are also called strap muscles. They can they are also four in number and the mnemonic is TOS. Thyrohyoid, Omohyoid, Sternohyoid, and Sternothyroid. Now, having done this, let's move on to extrinsic muscles of larynx. In the extrinsic muscles, we have Elevators and depressors of larynx. Elevators. These elevators can be primary elevators or secondary elevators. The primary elevators of larynx are stylopharyngeus. Salpingopharynges, and palatopharynges, and if you can remember the T of TOS, thyrohyoid. I remember this as SP, SP, PP and the T of TOS. Now secondary elevators include the DSMG which are the suprahyoid muscles DSMG, digastric and stylohyoid, mylohyoid and geniohyoid now let's move on to depressors of larynx in the depressors we have the oss of the tos these are the remaining strap muscles except thyrohyoid which comes under primary elevators they are omohyoid sternohyoid and sternothyroid let's revise the muscles again the extrinsic muscles of larynx can be elevators or depressors in elevators we have 
primary elevators and secondary elevators. Primary elevators include SP, SP, PP and T of TOS. They are stylopharynges, salpingopharynges, palatopharynges and thyrohyoid. The secondary elevators are DSMG, digastric, stylohyoid, mylohyoid and genohyoid. And in the depressor, depressors of larynx we have the rest of the TOS. Omohyoid, sternohyoid and sternothyroid muscles. Now let's continue with the intrinsic muscles of larynx. In the intrinsic muscles we have two categories. Muscles that act on laryngeal inlet. and muscles that act on vocal cords. These muscles act on laryngeal inlet and they can either open the laryngeal inlet or close the laryngeal inlet. The muscle which opens the laryngeal inlet is thyroepiglotticus. This is a part of thyroarytenoid muscle. The muscles which act on the laryngeal inlet to close it are oblique arytenoids and area epiglotticus. This area epiglotticus is a part of oblique arytenoid. The muscles which act on vocal cords can be of four types. Adductors of vocal cords, abductors of vocal cords, tensors of vocal cords and relaxers. I don't know if I have spelled it right but the muscles which cause relaxation of vocal cords. The adductors are lateral cricoretinoids. Interaretinoids. Interaretinoid muscle and thyroaretinoid muscle. Is thyroaretinoid the two external part of it? Abductors, we have only one abductor that is posterior cricoaretinoids. This is a pair of muscles. We also have a single pair of muscles which cause the which increase the tension in the vocal cords cricothyroid muscles the relaxation is caused by vocalis which is internal median part of thyroarytenoid muscle and external part of thyroarytenoid muscle So, we can say that entire thyroarytenoid muscle is a relaxer of vocal cords. Let's revise now. The intrinsic, the intrinsic muscles of larynx are grouped into two categories. The ones which act on laryngeal inlet and the other which act on vocal cords. The muscles which act on laryngeal inlet, inlet can be grouped into two categories which open which either open the laryngeal inlet or close the laryngeal inlet the muscles which open the laryngeal inlet are uh, thyroepiglotticus and laryngeal cavity is closed by oblique arytenoids and area epiglotticus which is a part of oblique arytenoid now the muscles which act on vocal cords are they can be adductors abductors tensors and relaxers the Adductors of vocal cords are lateral cricoarytenoids, interarytenoid, and 
thyro arytenoid the two external part the only pair of abductors is posterior cricoarytenoids and the tensors of vocal cord uh, is cricothyroid it's a pair of muscles relaxers relaxation of vocal cords is carried out by vocalis and external part of thyroarytenoid muscle this is a diagram showing the action of posterior cricoarytenoid muscles they cause abduction of vocal ligaments in this diagram we can see action of lateral cricoarytenoid muscles they cause adduction of vocal ligaments this is a diagram showing action of transverse and oblique arytenoid muscles they cause adduction of vocal ligaments this is a diagram showing action of vocalis and external part of thyroarytenoid muscles they cause relaxation or shortening of vocal ligaments this is a diagram showing action of cricothyroid muscles they cause lengthening or increase in tension of the vocal ligaments in this the cricothyroid joint acts as a pivoting point that's all for this video i hope this video helped you and made anatomy of larynx a little bit clearer thank you see you in the next video bye